Hey guys, in this video we are going to be making a Sightseer tote bag. This bag measures 13 inches wide by 17 inches long. And to work this, we are going to be using a number 4 medium weight yarn and a 5.5 millimeter hook. To get started with this, we are going to start with a slip knot on our hook. And with this slip knot, we are going to start chaining 47 chains. And if you need to see how to do this or anything else in this video, I will put links for those videos in the description box below. So again, we are going to go on to chain 47 chains. When you have 47 chains, we are then going to go on to work two single crochets in the second chain from the hook. So again, work two single crochets into the second chain from the hook. And then we are going to go on to work one single crochet in each stitch all the way down this chain until we have one stitch left. So again, work one single crochet in each stitch all the way down until you have one stitch left. When you've made it all the way to the end and you have one stitch left, we are then going to work four single crochets all into this last stitch. So again, work four single crochets all into this last stitch. And after you work two of them, it will start rounding around the end of this chain, which is what you want it to do. So turn it as you go and work these four single crochets so that the last one is basically on the other side of the chain. We are then going to go on to work one single crochet into the other side of each chain all the way across. So insert your hook into the other side of that next stitch and work a single crochet and do this all the way across into the other side of each chain all the way across until you come to the last stitch which is actually the first stitch that we started in and it has the two single crochets in it that we started with. So again work one single crochet in the other side of each stitch all the way across until you are left with that last or beginning stitch. When you've made it all the way back across this chain and you are left with the last stitch, which was also the beginning stitch, we are then going to work two more single crochets into the other side of this beginning stitch. So that will give us four stitches in this end stitch also. And then we are going to slip stitch into the top of the beginning single crochet and that will be the end of this first round. And you should have 96 single crochets at the end of this round with four single crochets in each end and one single crochet in each stitch on both sides all the way around. Again, and that will be 96 single crochets. And your work may be trying to do a little bit of funny stuff right now, but that is okay. It will work itself out as we go along. For the second round, we are going to start with a chain of two, which does not count as a stitch. And we are going to work one double crochet into the same first stitch. And then we are going to go on to work one double crochet into each stitch all the way around this round. So work one double crochet into the next stitch. And again, work one double crochet in each stitch all the way around. So that does mean continue working one double crochet in each stitch all the way till the end. When you come to these four stitches around the corner, you will continue working one double crochet in each stitch all the way around, continuing down this other side until we again get back to the beginning double crochet. When you have worked one double crochet in each stitch all the way around, and you have made it back to this beginning double crochet, we are then going to slip stitch into the top of the beginning double crochet of this round. And that was the end of round two. 
and at the end of this round you should have 96 double crochets and you will notice that by working one double crochet in each stitch all the way around it makes it so your work flips up on the end and that is exactly what you want it to do on both sides and this is the start of the bottom of our bag and again if it is doing some weird things that is okay it will work itself out as we go along for the third round we are going to do the same thing as round two so we are going to start with a chain of two which does not count as a stitch and we are going to work a double crochet into the same first stitch and work one double crochet into each stitch all the way around this round when you have made it all the way around that round round three we are then again going to slip stitch into the top of the beginning double crochet of this round and we should still have 96 double crochets at the end of this round and again if your work is trying to do a little bit of funny stuff and look like this weird boat that is okay it will eventually fold in half like this again with this being the bottom of our bag for round four we are going to start with a chain of two which does not count as a stitch and we are going to work a double crochet into the same first stitch and then we are going to chain one and skip a stitch and double crochet into the next we will then chain one skip a stitch and double crochet into the next and we are going to repeat that all the way around this round again by chaining one skipping a stitch and double crocheting into the next stitch and again repeating that all the way around this round when you have worked that all the way around you should end with a double crochet in the second to last stitch therefore we will chain one more and skip the last stitch and slip stitch into the top of the beginning double crochet of this round this is what your work should be looking like when you have folded it in half again it may be laying weird before you fold it in half but just lay it flat and it eventually will do that on its own and at the end of round four we should have 48 double crochets and 48 chain one spaces for the fifth round we are going to start with a chain of two which does not count as a stitch and we are going to double crochet into the same first stitch and then we are going to double crochet around the next chain one space and then double crochet into the next double crochet and double crochet around the next chain one space and repeat that all the way around this round again by double crocheting into the next double crochet and double crochet around the next chain one space and again repeat this all the way around this round when you have made it all the way around that round and you have double crocheted around the last chain one space of the round we are then going to slip stitch into the top of the beginning double crochet and again you should have 96 double crochets all the way around this round which is round five for round six we are going to start with a chain of two which does not count as a stitch and we are going to double crochet into the same first stitch and work one double crochet into the next stitch and every stitch all the way around this round so again work one double crochet into each stitch all the way around this round when you have made it all the way around that round round six we are going to slip stitch into the top of the beginning double crochet of the round and we should still have 96 double crochets for this round for round seven we are going to start with a chain of five and this counts as a double crochet and a chain two we are then going to double crochet into the same first stitch and this is an extended V stitch we are then going to skip two stitches 
and double crochet into the next stitch. We will then chain two and double crochet into the same stitch again. This is a second extended V stitch. So we will then again skip two stitches and double crochet into the next, then chain two and double crochet into the same stitch. And we are going to repeat this all the way around this round, again by skipping two stitches and double crocheting into the next, then chaining two and double crocheting into the same stitch. And again, repeat this all the way around until you have two stitches left. When you have made it all the way around that round, round seven, and you have two stitches left, we are going to skip these two stitches and slip stitch into the third chain of the beginning five. And that is the end of round seven. And you should have 32 extended V stitches all the way around that round. At this point, your work should also be laying flat when laid down and you shouldn't have any more issues with it laying weirdly. For round eight, we are going to start with a chain of two, which does not count as a stitch. And we are going to work a double crochet into the same first stitch, which was the third chain of the beginning five from the last round. And we are then going to work one double crochet around this chain two space and one double crochet into the next double crochet. We will then work a double crochet into the next double crochet. Work a double crochet around the next chain two space and a double crochet into the next double crochet. And we will repeat this all the way around, working one double crochet into each double crochet stitch and one double crochet around each chain two space. And again, repeat that all the way around this round. When you have made it all the way around that round and you have double crocheted into the last double crochet of the round, we will then slip stitch into the top of the beginning double crochet of this round. And that is the end of round eight. And we should have 96 double crochets all the way around that round. For the next round, round nine, this will be the last round for the repeating rounds of this pattern. So we are going to start with a chain of two, which does not count as a stitch. And we're going to work one double crochet into the same first stitch. And then we're going to work one double crochet into the next stitch and each stitch all the way around this round. When you have made it all the way around that round, round nine, we are going to slip stitch into the top of the beginning double crochet of the round. And we should have 96 double crochets at the end of that round. So here is what your bag should look like after the first nine rounds. And for round 10 through round 27, we are going to go on to repeat round four through round nine in proper repeating order again until you have finished round 27. When you have finished round 27, your work should be about 14 and a half inches long at this point. And we are now going to work two rounds of solid single crochets all the way around before working the handles for our bag. So again, for round 28 and round 29, we are going to be working solid single crochet rounds. So we are going to start with a chain, which does not count as a stitch. And we are going to work one single crochet into the first stitch and work one single crochet into each stitch all the way around this round. When you've made it all the way around that round, round 28 with single crochets all the way around, we are then going to slip stitch into the top of the beginning single crochet. 
And for round 29, we are going to do the exact same thing. Begin by starting off with a chain, which does not count as a stitch. And we are going to single crochet in the same first stitch and work one single crochet in each stitch all the way around this round. When you have made it around that round with one single crochet in every single stitch all the way around, we will then again slip stitch into the top of the beginning single crochet and that is the end of round 29. And for round 30, we are going to begin the handles. So we are going to start with a chain which does not count as a stitch and we are going to work a single crochet into the same first stitch and then we are going to work one single crochet in the next 23 stitches. So again, work one single crochet in the next 23 stitches, which will give us 24 single crochets for this round at that point. When you have single crocheted in those 23 stitches and you now have 24 single crochets for this round so far, we are then going to go on to chain 35. And this is going to be the length and size for the handle. And these are just small hand handles like you saw in the beginning pictures. So if you would like your handles or straps to be longer, then you can chain more than 35 if you would like. Again, these are just for short handles and I am chaining 35 chains. When you have as many chains as you would like for the length of your handle, in my case, 35 chains, we are then going to skip 19 stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And we are going to single crochet into the next stitch. So again, skip 19 stitches and single crochet into the next stitch and then single crochet one time in the next 28 stitches. So again, single crochet one time in the next 28 stitches and that should give you 29 single crochets, including this first one that we connected back to the bag. When you have 29 stitches from where the other strap ends to where you are now, we are then going to work the other strap. So you are again going to want to chain the same amount that you worked for the other strap. And again, in my case, that is 35 chains. So we are working the second strap or handle now, and you will want to chain the same amount that you worked for the first one. Again, in my case, 35 chains. When you have the same amount of chains for the second strap that you had for the first strap, we are then going to want to skip 19 stitches across the top again. And then we are going to slip stitch into the next stitch after those 19 stitches. And that should leave us with the stitch we just single crocheted into and four more stitches. Therefore, we are going to work one single crochet in each of those last four stitches and then slip stitch into the top of the beginning single crochet of this round. For the next round, round 31, we are going to start with the chain of one, which does not count as a stitch. And we are going to work a single crochet in the same first stitch and then work one single crochet in the next 22 stitches. And that will leave us with one stitch or one single crochet before the chains for our strap. When you have worked those 22 single crochets, you should have 23 single crochets for this round so far. And we should have one single crochet left before the chain for our strap. So we are going to bring this next single crochet and the first chain together in one, two single crochet together. So we're going to start a single crochet in the single crochet 
and then start a single crochet in the chain leaving both loops on the hook for both stitches and then bring them together in one two single crochet together and then we are going to work one single crochet in each stitch all the way across the strap until there is one chain left on the other side of the strap work next to the other side of the body of the bag when you have worked one single crochet in each stitch all the way across the chain for your strap and you have one chain left for your strap we are then going to do the same thing as we did on the other side by bringing this last chain and this first single crochet together in one two single crochet together so start a single crochet in the chain leaving both loops on the hook and start a single crochet in the single crochet leaving both loops on the hook and bring those two stitches together in one two single crochet together and then we are going to continue working one single crochet in each stitch across the side of the bag until you come to the next strap where you will do the same thing by working this single crochet and the first chain together in one two single crochet together then work a single crochet all the way across this strap until you have one chain left where you will bring this chain and the next single crochet together in one two single crochet together and then continue working one single crochet in the next few stitches until you come back to the beginning single crochet when you have come back to the beginning single crochet of this round we will then slip stitch into the top of that single crochet and that was the end of round 31 so we are now going to go on for round 32 33 and 34 to work one single crochet in each stitch all the way around for all three of those rounds so we are going to chain one which does not count as a stitch and we are going to single crochet into the first same stitch and work one single crochet in each stitch all the way around and that will take you across both handles and bring you back to this beginning single crochet where you will slip stitch into the top of this beginning single crochet again you are going to want to work one single crochet in each stitch for this round round 32 for round 33 and for round 34 and that will give you four rows wide for your strap you can of course continue working one single crochet in each stitch all the way around for as many rounds as you would like to make your strap the width that you would like it to be I just think that four rounds is a decent width for the strap in my opinion so again I am going to go on to work one single crochet in each stitch all the way around for the next three rounds which is round 32 33 and 34 and then I am going to finish off my work and weave in my ends and that's all there is to it I hope that that was enjoyable and helpful for you if it was, please hit that sub like and bell button and leave me a comment down below to tell me what you think. I hope you guys go on to create many more amazing things and until next time, I'll see ya.